this man's going Incineroar. This is Big the Cat right now. It's it. I love, I love that Incineroar is incorporated in this. I love his wrestling moves. Every hit feels so powerful with Incineroar. Yeah, he's definitely a kooky guy out here taunting after every move hits. <laughs> I tries to go. I feel like that command grab is going to be a big part of uh, Incineroar's game plan. I mean, you can see it right now, is that he went for the command grab and immediately after he went for the dash tag. He's definitely trying to get his opponent to do different things so he can get the hit. Fails the haymaker. Yeah, the, the little mini game of Incineroar's uh, <laughs> How many can you land? Is it <laughs> make a game out of Incineroar's I know, right? <laughs> now, Incineroar does have the slowest speed in the game, in running speed, mind you. Uh, but his hits are strong. Right. And that makes up for it. Like I said, heavies, super heavies, I mean, they all have these different options in this game to put them in. They're not just, you know, being balled, pulled over by every character. And as much as he's very slow on the ground, uh, I, the thing that I don't see a lot of people talking about is he has, uh, like, a very tall jump, which is going to be important in a game where uh, where there's so much uh, jump. Exactly. Nice job from Geese so far, getting that first stock. Ooh, he's powered up. Oh, oh wow, that show has a kill. I, I was not expecting that move to land in turn eight. <laughs> oh, shield break coming out from Pistol. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! <laughs> Only 49% on to Pistol so far right now. Yeah. <laughs> I love his move. This was so cool. Oh, man, you get launched and you get hit by anything by Incineroar. Now, there is some smart things that Incineroar players can do um, to proc revenge. And you can see it right now. Well, not right now, because Pistol's kind of juggling him. <laughs> but, uh, for example, getting hit with the egg. Okay, so you kind of want to abuse a zoner's power. Yoshi has the eggs to throw out. Right. If you use revenge, you only take a small portion, you get it built up, and now you have a really heavy hit that you can go middle on. Right. So, like, for example, also Mario's Fireball. Not a lot of damage from that. But you can get revenge, and now you have a like a giant move here. Right, since the multiplier on revenge is so big. Ooh, Pisco actually takes the stock now. Has a lead, but almost not for very long. He uh, he's definitely been making that down B work. It's taken. It's definitely got him a significant. That's what I'm talking about right there. Use the egg to get revenge. Right. Yeah. That's really smart gameplay. And then, like, what is, what is Psycho going to do? Is he going to stop throwing eggs? Well, now you took away one of your strongest tools. Exactly. But the thing is, Revenge does run out. It has about a minute timer on it. Okay. So, unless if you take too much abuse, like, for example, if you get grabbed, Revenge goes away. If you get hit too much, Revenge goes away. So, you, you have to, during that small time frame, you can actually mind game your opponent, make, you, make them scared to approach you because, you know, you have so much damage online. Yeah, this, like it's a game of risk and reward, and the risk of approaching somebody that has revenge is just absurd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for example, the Haymaker kills at like 70% by the edge, so you have to be really careful. Right. Right, he's struggling to find his way in right now. Pisco doing a nice job. Alright, you gotta. You got that oh! Get the read! Not gonna kill just yet, though! Has him off the edge, he's gonna go for any edge guard. All right. Using the side B as a recovery move. That's smart. That's really smart from Pisco as well. He's using... Oh, nice up air! Pisco taking game number one. I have to say, Yoshi's up air animation has a lot more character than it has It does, doesn't it? Um, something really smart that uh, Pisco was doing during that whole set um, was he was using the Yoshi bomb, okay? okay. But he wasn't... When he was using it, he wasn't actually staying on the top platform. He was holding down, and that was putting him through the platform. Wow, I didn't even know they could do that. Right, and Cinderwar can do the same thing with his recovery. Okay. So, um, as long as you're holding down, you can go through platforms. Yeah, that's, so that it, sounds really valuable. Exactly, so it works as a mind game as well. Right. You People have to are mix not, up now. Yeah, exactly, that's how we saw that first shield break. Okay. So, I think that's pretty smart of him to mix it up. I feel like when you see mechanics like that, and you're like, kind of not sure what might happen, just go away. Just retreat. Just don't deal with it. Verity. 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 Huh? No? 
please? Incineroar! No, I wasn't saying you, I, I was asking for water. Alright. No character switches this time. Uh, these, these are these guys' mains. But WarioWare! I mean, I... The blast zones here are pretty small. Yeah, definitely so, with favor and center or I would feel. Yeah. So I mean, with the power that Center has in his whole kit, um, definitely could kill Yoshi pretty early here. But Yoshi's a hard hitter, so you can't count him out. Right. Well, I mean, like Yoshi, I feel like Yoshi's been getting uh, kills by sending him up, and I'm not sure about the height of this game. I know the sides are very strong. I love this song. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, he's gonna he get it. Does. Oh, that's man. what I'm talking about. Super early. Blast zone's really small here on WarioWare, so you have to be careful by the edge. He's had a plan. All right. All right, gets the throw off. Nice, Edgar gets the spike. Ooh. He did it. This game is really fast. Um, it's just how how quickly you can bring back a stock from yeah. nothing. There's definitely a lot of ways to end your opponent when it comes down to it. Ooh, right. He's not punishing that F smash from Piskel. We got some, we got some neutral game going on right now. This, uh, these guys realize this is game two and uh, stuff going on. All right. Okay. Nice Combo down throws. Fair. I like it. It's good. Get that percentage fair. up pretty high. Now, like we saw last time, he he may go for another grab. Oh, is this gonna do it? All right. Not enough. But if he turns it around and back throws, it'll probably kill right about this percentage. So Pistol has to be careful. Right. Nice job with the eggs there. No. No. <laughs> I love the crowd. <laughs> that was super tricky. Uh, uh, smash uh, attacks oh. it. Uh, all right, we got it. Okay. Dark is the area. Doing wrestling moves. Now, Darkest Lariat actually does do um, reflection. I think it does reflect a few projectiles. Okay. Back throw coming in hot. Bam. Oh, oh man. <laughs> this is really quick. Oh, never mind. <laughs> all right, all right. We got some. We got some neutral game. We got some extra credit here. And that was an interesting interaction there. Like we know Psycho now likes to do down B, and so Geese is waiting for it. That's a mark of uh, that was, adaptation. That was also really smart from Geese. Oh, almost got the shield break again. Oh, Which the haymaker M misses the mini game. Now the reason that that egg lay. Oh, haymaker! Oh. That's a disgusting angle. What is that? 30, 20? <laughs> Holy moly! Now this is this is the first match that we've actually had that hasn't gone 2-0. I like that. The because we're getting into it now. Yeah. People realize it's no joke. <laughs> if you lose, you're out. Yeah. So I mean, single limb. You got one shot. shot. Do not. <laughs> it's almost like this opportunity comes this once in a lifetime. <laughs> Big shout out to Salt Lake Gaming Con for putting this up. For the awesome venue we have here, I actually really like this. I never yeah. thought of a movie theater as a venue, but this works out really well. It's, it's cool. always nice when you get a sick venue. It's the cool. The Smashers have been playing this game in basements for too long. The travesty needs to end. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want to give a big out, big shout out to Mainframe, Salt Lake Gaming Con, Salty Gaming, Megaplex Theaters, and Valley Fair. Thank you guys so much so far. Let's make it, uh, get a big round of applause here for our sponsors, guys. Oh, man. Game three. You can look at the gears turning in that no. man's face. <laughs> He's just the thought. He's like, should I? Yes, maybe. A single drop of sweat rolls I, down his brow. Oh. <laughs> Eyes getting wide. All right, he's going with the yellow Yoshi now. Every, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> there are such things as color Johns. <laughs> I, I didn't have my color, but you know what? I actually like this. Yeah. So a Yoshi, uh, yellow Yoshi is the stomp Yoshi off of Mario World. I mean, we already see percentage is about equal here. That's, that's nice. It's the color. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes you just need to go Super Saiyan Yoshi. <laughs> that's what you need. All right, gets Oh, he's trying to do some setups. He's trying to do some sick stuff. 
I mean, that's smart of him, but at the same time, he could use that dare, the flutter kicks, to rack up a lot more percent on Tiki's. Right. The multi hit moves definitely have that problem. Doing a lot of damage. Oh, super close. Now, something about the Darkest Lariat, um, it's it's pretty committal. You can't cancel it. Oh. Um, so once you use it, um, Pisco could be or Pisco could be using a a punish on that for sure. Right. That's probably why we've seen him do it and then tend to move away from the, his opponent. Now, Geese did take the first stock, only 97%. He is a super heavy, so this is going to be a lot harder for Pisco to actually bring this back. This is when you start compounding your advantages. You know? Yeah. Well, super close. Just keep racking up the percent. Smart on him. Oh, Darkest okay. Lane. Not going to help him out there, but the up smash. Taking it. I mean, this is still mad close, though. It really is. Only 50%. I mean, this game, sometimes it feels like things are hard to kill with. Right. And other times, it's like, wow, that just killed. <laughs> that was really easy. <laughs> day two, man. Day two. There we go. Really smart play here from Geese. Gets the Charged revenge up. up for himself. Does he get the haymaker? Oh, okay. Just a flip. Okay. Well, you know, still, it's yeah. scary. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Flutter kicks coming in hot. He gets. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were gonna see some reset stuff. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> some, some cute Yoshi combos. All right, a little bit of jab play. All right. I love Incineroar's taunts. Every time he just, <laughs> he just jabs you. He's like, oh yeah, you're going down, dude. Oh, oh, okay. That was that was clutch. Looked scary there for a moment. And that's how you know Pistol knows his character really well. He can gauge when he can flutter kick back up. His opponent thinks, hey, he's going to die. He right. ways that he jumps, but he brings it back. And that's where you set up some mind games. Maybe a Nair out, out, of, uh, out of ledge. You just oh. feel Incineroar's hits. I know. And then he just does the slow walk over. <laughs> it's intimidating. It is. And that's the thing about this game as well. You can do a lot of dash dancing. You can do a lot of different movement options. But the slow walk still one of the scariest things in the game. One of the most powerful movements in all of Smash. Alright. Oh goodness. 108? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> uh, he's dead. <laughs> he's, he's gone. It's time for the next life. Alright, nice juggle from Pistol here. Can he keep up the momentum? Oh, oh. Ooh, down beat. Still not going to take it. 150% here for Geeks. Psycho must be getting frustrated. He knows he needs to take some stock. Every percent of damage he takes uh, moves him closer to a loss. Exactly, and out of the tournament. This is still pools. So it will shift. The format will shift eventually. Right. When you reach maybe like top 10, top 8, something like that, top 16. But for now, in pools, every hit counts. Right. You better bring your A game. Right, got Just a little bit of zoning here coming out from Pistol. I have to say, that's one of the more interesting things about this game that uh, it, it look like, looks like is happening, is that people aren't sure when they can press their advantage yet. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, we saw a combo there, but it got reversed halfway through. Right, because he thought he could keep it going. Right. Oh, no. He has the revenge online. Oh. He can see he's, he's scared. He's walking. He, kn he no. knows. <laughs> this is so powerful. Stay away. All right, all right. He threw it out. All right, exactly. Yep, the throw coming immediately out. It's going to help him get rid of revenge. I have to say, I do like Geese's overall game plan here so far. Down smash coming out. It's not going to be enough yet, though. Oh, oh. down B. 111%, 109% are really close. They're Last going back and forth. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. Let's see who wants it more. Who's gonna flinch? What? I said who's gonna flinch? French? Flinch. Flinch. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't get that reference. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! Darkest Lariat! Down B! Rage is built! Whoa. Back air's right. coming in hot from Geese. Can he get a connection here? Eggley! Oh! And he gets the back air! Excellent, excellent gameplay. Man. Psycho really went out there. Psycho, that's what it is. I've been saying so many different things. <laughs>